Okay, guys, this is going to be great. I am so excited about this. Uh, it's an idea I just came up with a couple weeks ago. I decided to send a friend of mine to a random spot in the city with a tablet and have them show a random person on the street one of my YouTube videos uh, and get their reaction of it. I, I've always been curious of what the, the average Joe Schmo thinks of my YouTube videos, and I thought, what better way to do it than this? And uh, they actually just sent me the video, so I'm going to play it right here. I've got my tablet right in front of me. I'm going to play it, and so you guys will get my reaction the minute I see it. So, uh, hey, what do you say? Let's just do this. If, if it's good enough, it might be a recurring feature. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, random person, what do you think of my YouTube video? Oh, I could never say. What is gratitude is a hard thing to understand. And uh, I just nobody, and I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that, you know. Everybody needs a hundred zillion friends except me, you know. The old joke is, uh, oh, sure, 400 friends at once. Greetings, one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade, coming at you with the bargain bag for the month of July. July's here already. It's just crazy. July isn't crazy. It's the fact that July is here is crazy, is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, yes, bargain bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of two mystery CD grab bags, front seven CDs each from the late Skips Records and CD World. Uh, between the two bags, I will talk about a CD that I have found or that you might be likely to find in the bargain section of a retailer near you. But before I get to any of that, I will review what I found in last month's pair of mystery CD grab bags. In rough order from cast-offs to keepers, let me talk about what I found here. Now, uh, the first one I did not bother listening to because, as I mentioned in, my, in last month's bargain bag, I had already owned it at one point, uh, but now I have Elton John's, most of Elton John's discovery, well, a little more than half, I think, of his discography. So I had no need for this CD anymore. I got rid of it long ago. But yes, a 10 C a ten track compilation of Elton John stuff. Very good stuff on here. Uh, these next two CDs are hip hop, and I listened to a couple tracks from each one, and I had had enough. So, you know, I I'm very, very selective about my hip hop, especially gangster rap is not my thing at all. And that's kind of what this was. Well, 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 maybe, maybe not specifically gangsta in the lyrics, but it's that it's that style, and I just didn't care for it. This was a compilation uh, from the Landspeed label, and this was actually one of the artists that was on the Landspeed compilation, Seven L and Esoteric. But this CD was not on Landscape Records, so. But yeah, then we have a classical compilation, Sunday Morning Classics. Uh, it's you know, classical compilations are classical compilations, you know kind of meh, but listening to this one actually made me order, I don't have it yet because it wasn't in stock, a specific classical CD. Not one that uh, this compilation picked from, it's just a composi a composition that was on here, but by a different artist. Uh, I will go into that later, probably in a, in a playlist video after I've gotten it and listened to it. It's an in interesting story about that uh, Mo Mozart composition, I'll go into it later, so stay tuned in an upcoming playlist video for that. And then we have um, a Christian CD, actually a couple of Christian CDs. The next one is not very Christian, but this one is very Christian. It is Shelley James with her album It's So Alright. Uh, it was very nice instrumental arrangements, and she has a very nice voice. It's a lot like Amy Grant, but the lyrics are very, very Christian, so kind of, you know, it, it's... The lyrical content, as I've said before, is lost on me with Christian music. So yeah, just not enough of, enough of a motivator to make me want to keep it. And then this next one was not really Christian, but they are billed, at least on Wikipedia, as a Christian rock band. Or they were, because I don't think they're, they're together anymore. But uh, a band called Super Chick. And remember in my last bargain bag video, I mentioned that these guys kind of looked like No Doubt, uh, especially considering the picture on the back. Well, it turns out that they kind of sound like No Doubt but not a whole lot, and I think they might have actually toured with No Doubt. I might be wrong about that, but um, it actually reminds me not so much of No Doubt as of Avril Lavigne, her first album. Very teenage, high school kind of stuff. So yeah, the lyrics are kind of, you know, a little too immature for me. Not to say that the band is immature, just the lyrics that they presented on this album were just not my thing. Didn't care for it, gotta say. So. Is it well? The title of this is 50 Sweet Bands, 50 Sweet Songs, but it's actually 25 Sweet Bands and 25 Sweet Songs because this is disc two of a two disc compilation. I don't know where disc one is. It could be in one of these two bags that I'm opening today. Who knows? But um, a bunch of old uh, 40s and 50s stuff. 
uh, Jimmy Dorsey, most artists that I did not sound familiar to me, but okay stuff, but uh, I've pretty much got all that kind of stuff that I really care to have, so uh, yeah, it's going to go bye-bye. I might reconsider if I happen to run into disc one of the set. But. Then we have a group called Delta Moon, and this was basically Americana Roots country rock kind of stuff. Not bad stuff, just didn't like it enough to, to want to keep it, really. And uh, that's sad to say is the case with most of the stuff. Except for four or five that are coming up here, the last of the definite cast-offs is Christopher Williams. Uh, and this one was, uh, it's a folky, you know, folk genre, basically, but his voice is was really, really uninteresting. Just did not care much for it. It just did not pull me in at all. So, and yeah, like I've said before, I listen to so much music, especially with these bargain bag CDs, that something has to really grab me if I'm going to uh, keep it at all. Then we have this one I might I might keep. We're getting into the one or two maybe keepers and three definitely keepers. Uh, Carrie Getz and her album Little Victory. She rem reminds me a lot of Jonathan Brook, who is a folk pop singer songwriter. Uh, yeah, very very good stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one at least one more spin and see if I like it. But uh, yeah, decent stuff. Then we have an alt-rock band called This Way. This was their one and only album, and uh, they actually toured with Bare Naked Ladies, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Train, which kind of explains why I tended to take a liking to this and why I'm going to keep it at least for now and give it some more spins. But yeah, uh, indie pop rock is basically what it is. So hmm. I, I might have to keep you updated on whether or not I like it. Well, you guys will probably know if I end up really liking it. At the end of the year, I do a favorite bargain bag CD finds countdown. So uh, during during list season, yay. Uh, so if it's on there, then you'll know that I liked it a lot. Then we have Alev, which is a basically a mostly hard rock band with female vocals. So in that respect, it kind of reminds me a bit of Paramore or Evanescence. These guys rock a little bit harder though. So yeah, it's interesting, you know, the, the, the female vocals against that kind of rock music make it interesting. So I'm going to keep it and give it a few more listens. So. Then we have uh, the one that I was familiar with. I think the only one I think that I was familiar with here. Uh, Celine Dion. And uh, she surprised me with this one. I've listened to a little bit of Celine Dion here and there, and it's easy to dismiss her as all snoozy ballads. But this has a couple of upbeat songs, which I kind of like the sound of. She does a rendition of River Deep Mountain High, which was a Marvin Gaye, Tammy Terrell song, if I remember correctly. So very, very good rendition of that. And uh, also another upbeat song in here is called Make You Happy. So uh, yeah, and yeah, she actually does, she does kind of bring it. I mean, she, she's got that power behind her voice, unmistakably. So when an upbeat song comes along, she can deliver on that. So uh, I, guess, I wonder if she does it more often than I think she does, and maybe I need to investigate Celine Dion a little bit more. And then the last one in here, which is another keeper, is a band called Thirst. It's an indie rock band, basically. They have, what caught me about this CD was they have great vocal harmonies in a lot of the songs. And uh, so some some catchy lyrics and stuff, too. One of the standout songs is called Gyrate. So yeah, very, very good stuff. And the album is called Through the Wire. It's by a band called Thirst. So uh, I would recommend that if, uh, if they're on Spotify. I have no idea, but uh, if they are, give them a play. And now let's dip on in to the first of the two mystery CD grab bags. Fold up the uh, thing up there so that I can get my scissors into it without leaving a whole bunch of little tiny shards of paper on the floor. So, pop the top on this bad boy. And to give you guys the customary peekaboo peek before I get to see what's in here for how the CDs are oriented, so let's take a look at the first CD in here. Baby Lemonade. 68% pure imagination. Why is it only 68%? Can't they do better than that? Anyway, I have no idea what these guys do, so uh, it'll be interesting to find out. Then we have Patty Larkin. I have heard of her. I don't know what kind of music she does. Okay, I'm probably confusing her with Patty Austin, who I think is a Christian musician. So, yeah. Perishable Fruit is the name of the album. We have, I'm trying not to peek as I get the CDs out of here. Ah, oh, Rusted Root. I have a couple of their albums already, and this one is an album I don't think I have. It's called Remember. 
and the case is very pretty well thrashed which usually means that the CD is pretty well thrashed. In fact I can't wait to find out in truth and yes this disc has a lot of scratches on it. So that's one problem with these bargain bag CDs is a lot of the CDs sometimes are in bad condition. So Then we have the Mary Janes with their album Flame. Never heard of these guys, so so I don't know what to say about them. Then we have Joselo with the album Lejos, I guess. Latin, Latin music, obviously. So, yeah. All of the song titles are in Spanish. So I am never afraid to listen to music in a foreign language. Then we have Oh, Getaway Cruiser. I've heard of these guys, or at least I have seen this CD in the bargain racks. I may have actually seen it seen it in the bargain racks at Skips uh, from time to time. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, alternative rock, I think, is what they are. I have never listened to them knowingly, for sure. And then the final CD in here. It bumped the tablet, but it missed everything else. We have John Brennan. And this guy looks familiar. I think he's a country artist. So, hmm. an interesting collection of CDs from the first mystery CD grab bag. Okay, now on to the Spotlight Bargain Bag CD for the month of July 2021. And now, full disclosure, I have never actually seen this CD in a bargain section before. But uh, as I've mentioned recently, Everybody seems to be getting rid of this, their CDs. Uh, the stores seem to have a huge glut of CDs. I know I've gotten rid of a bunch recently. So you can find pretty much any CD at rock bottom prices anymore. Uh, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if I see this one in a bargain section very soon. I'm sure I've seen other ones by this group in, in the bargain section. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, if you're thinking of getting into CDs and you haven't yet, uh, this is pretty much, there's not a better time to do so than right now, just because everybody seems to be giving away their CDs. But anyway, since I talked about one of my favorite contemporary jazz groups of all time last month, I thought I would do one of my favorite rock bands of all time this month. And here we have Huey Lewis and the News with their sophomore album, Picture This. And this one reached uh, number 13 on the Billboard Albums chart, so it uh, just barely missed the top 10, but it was a top 20 album. And it had a few hit singles. Uh, one of them was, I believe, the band's first top 10 hit, Do You Believe in Love? It's a great, great song. One of the best on here, by the way. And uh, yes, this was the first album that the band produced themselves, and they produced, what, the next four or five albums all by themselves. And uh, this was the one that kind of propelled them to success. The one after this, though, Sports, was the one that really was their breakthrough smash hit. But uh, yeah, this one kind of got them starting up on up the uh, getting noticed in the music world. A bunch of great songs on here, just great uh, pop rock, uh, some barroom rock kind of stuff, but they also do some kind of throwback stuff to doo-wop era and uh, 50s pop rock and that kind of stuff. And it's, it's just, it's all just so great. And it's this album, just listen to this album, and that will tell you why. Huey Lewis in the News has been one of my favorite bands of all time, one of what I call my holy trinity of 80s pop rock uh, groups. Let's see, yes. Uh, Change of Heart is the opening track. That's fantastic. And Giving It All Up for Love, It's kind of a, that's kind of an upbeat uh, song. And Hope You Love Me Like You Say You Do, that's another upbeat one. Those, are, those two are back to back. So, and Working for a Living, that's one of their more hard rocking barroom style rockers. Uh, they did another song called uh, Couple Days Off, which was about, you know, kind of the working man's blues sort of a song. So that was kind of, in a way, a direct sequel to Working for a Living. So it's kind of a, an interesting, fun little thread between songs, you know. And uh, Whatever Happened to True Love, that's another really good one. And they do a couple of covers on here. Buzz, Buzz, Buzz is a good song. And, uh, Giving It All Up For Love, I think I mentioned that one. That was by uh, Phil Lynott of Thin Lizzy. So, and I believe he actually performed it uh, or recorded it solo on one of his albums. Oh, Do You Believe In Love was written by Mutt Lang. So, yeah, a, a famous songwriting name in here. But yes, the production is all Huey Lewis in the news. Great, great, great stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. In my opinion, Huey Lewis in the news is one of those pop rock groups that I don't see how anybody can't like them, you know? For me, anyway, they defined the 80s along with Duran Duran and Men at Work and, to a lesser degree, Hollow Notes. Just uh, yeah. fantastic, wonderful stuff. 
I don't have a huge vocabulary for this uh, album. I'm kind of doing it off the cuff, but uh, hey. But anyway, enough of the awkward moments here, and let's get on with the second of the two mystery CD grab bags. Can you tell I'm impatient to get to the opening of the bags, because that's my favorite part of the video? Anyway. And trying not to peek at what's inside, but I am not afraid to give you guys a peek. Oh, I see colors. <laughs> I, I see colors, colors man. man. Anyway, uh, here we have... Oh, Mother May I, Splitsville. This one was in one of my earliest bargain bags, my first year bargain bag. Yeah, and I did not think much of this. Uh, it was it was okay, but yeah, I'll probably probably listen to it one more time just to see if I was wrong. But I probably wasn't. Then we have hmm, Pepper Town with the album Firefly, or it may be Firefly with their album Pepper Town. I have no idea. Could be, and it's impossible to tell because one of the tracks is called Firefly, and one of the other tracks is called Pepper Town Road. So I have no idea which is the artist and which is the title. And then, well, something still sealed in plastic. It's got an eye on the front of it. It is Coppice, Coppice, or Coppice, C-O-P-B-I-C-E. I have no idea. I've never heard of them, or him, or her. So, yeah, one of the fun things about this is trying to guess what genre a given CD is that I've never seen or heard before. And another part of the fun is listening to them to see if I like them or not. It's kind of the reason why I do Marvin Bag in the first place, right? Then we have, oh, Papa Vegas. I've heard of these guys. Weren't these guys like a rap rock kind of group or something? Along the lines of Limp Biscuit or something, maybe? Hello Vertigo is the name of the album. Interesting cover. But they, I know I've heard of Papa Vegas before. I don't think I've ever listened to them. So. Then we have E.J. Waters. I uh, don't know who she is. Yeah, it, it, it looks like a she. I didn't mean any offense by saying it that way. Then we have Treehouse with, I guess, their self-titled album. Uh, I may have seen or heard of these guys before, but I've never listened to them knowingly. And then the last bag, last CD in the bag. <laughs> that one hit right against the uh, viewfinder. Oh, this is the, th the third time I've gotten this CD in a bargain bag. Do you think he had a lot of copies of it to give away? Naxos, classical label, 10 years of success. Obviously this one is not even getting listened to, so... Well, hey, all things considered though, this was a fun, fun bargain bag yet again. I am very, not looking forward to the end of this feature at the end of this year, so yeah, there you go. And that'll do it for the July 2021 edition of Bargain Bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comment section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.